Hi guys. It is Sunday, October the 30th. It's a nice day out, low 60s. Uh, Jason's mom and her fiance Larry had just stopped in to visit with us, so we had a nice visit with them. And I believe later on today we're gonna be going over to visit with my grandma as well. Uh, we did get all of our goals accomplished for the summer. We got our camper skirted and insulated. Sewage is hooked up to the septic. We got our electric in and that is taken care of. And the final thing we wanted to do was water. And we weren't sure if we were gonna get to it, but it happened last minute. So we got that in the last couple days. We got our water hooked in from the well. And today Jason is going to be backfilling uh, the ditch the water lines in coming from the well so he'll be doing that and I think we're just gonna be cleaning up and picking up just some stuff that's laying around before winter just things that need to be picked up kind of like this hose and this thing and then this back porch is full of insulation and needs cleaned off so just a laid back Sunday. Okay, Jason is going to find dirt to finish filling in the water pipe. And I cleaned off the back porch. I ran a few passes with the mower, cleaning up some leaves. But what I'm going to do now is this little vent where our hose is coming through the basement one into the camper for the water. This needs to be plugged off, so I'm gonna try to cut a piece of insulation to stuff in there and get that blocked off. Alrighty, I'm all done. I've got my insulation all plugged off here. I'm also covered in it, <laughs> but I took a piece of this and cut it out, cut it out to fit in there. And I actually did two of these pieces. I put one, put one like behind that piece and then I put another piece in front of it. That way it kind of fills the whole, the whole gap. But I cut my pieces around. You can see there's a few different pieces because I had to get around this pipe. We're gonna have to rip it all out and do it again when we get our heated hose. So I think I did a good job. Now I'm gonna have to get all of this cleaned up because I made a mess, but Let's go see what Jason's doing. Sounds like he's still over there trying to make his uh, ditch look nice. Doing that insulation, guys, that's not, I mean, it's an easy job to do, but I mean, just that, it probably took me a couple hours just to get those pieces in. So it takes up some time, it's probably around five o'clock.
Jason's wanting to teach me how to run the skid steer, so this is gonna be fun. We've got a nice little hump here where we can dig some dirt. Here comes Saya. She was looking for me. Did you find me? Machine, you need to push that button. All right, that locks it. The boom can't move, the wheels can't move, okay? If you take your seat belt off, it does the same thing. It, it won't move. So go ahead and push that button. It's on red, right? Yeah. Is that the open brake? Yeah. Side? It's just like your zero turn. Yeah. That's your throttle. Throttle up and then what? You're ready to drive. And then what's that? Just like your zero turn. Oh, that's just, just That go. just runs the machine. And then what's the pedal? Your parking brakes off. Yeah. Your left foot runs the boom up and down. Slowly so, push it. Back goes up. Use your heel. Yeah, good job. a couple years ago right here you can see that we got a little buck running around he's got it rubbed raw look at that the whole way down or tree we had it fenced fenced off and we took it off and we should have left it on turn on some lights okay I don't know what we're gonna have for supper tonight. Probably do Phillies. I think that's the only thing we have left in the in the refrigerator. Got my meat going for our Phillies. And our quinoa. Looks good. Got my vegetables, my onions, and my peppers over here. But the propane just went out, so. I think we might be out of propane. Jason went, went to go check. Camper life, right? Happens. Trying something different. We are out of propane. It's a good thing Jason got me this ninja the other day. Put the meat in there with the vegetables. So we'll see how that turns out. It's done. Let's see how it did. Ooh, it's smoking. Oh yeah, it's just a bunch of I'm gonna stuff. like this thing. Nice. Air broil nice. did good. Go. Mm-hmm. 
Looks good. And our vegetable quinoa got done. Supper is served. It's the end of the night. Supper was good. I'm really happy that we had that air fryer because it saved Jason from having to run in town to get propane, so that was nice. And now it's time for bedtime snacks of cookies and Ben and Jerry's fish food ice cream. Cookies and milk. <laughs> if you haven't had the Ben and Jerry's, you gotta try it. Let me know what your bedtime snack is in the comments. But I'm happy with what we did this week, what Jason did this week. We have water, so that's awesome. Last goal of the summer is complete, and I'm excited to get started in the farmhouse. Yep, now it's time to start the house. Mm, tomorrow's Monday, so back to work for me. I'll be working from here tomorrow, and then we're going back home to our house in town because Jason leaves for Illinois on Tuesday to work for the week. Yep, I'll be on the outskirts of St. Louis. So that's all for this one. What'd you think of driving the skid steer today? Oh yeah, that was scary, but cool that I was able to do it. You did good. More practice. Heavy machinery is very intimidating. <laughs> But it's a big responsibility being in a piece of equipment or anything that's that big and weighs that much. Yeah, I was definitely nervous. Practice right. makes perfect. Yep. You did good. You could run it if you had to. <laughs> if I had you to, did yeah. Good. Just very cautious. All right. That's all for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. We have big plans and this journey is just beginning so you don't want to miss it. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when we post new videos and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye. Say bye babe. Bye babe. <laughs>